kids. I miss you so much. I miss having Sunday school with you guys. I miss uh, hanging out and just chatting with you guys. I hope everything is going well. Um, today's lesson, we are going to learn about the ascension of Jesus Christ. So after the resurrection, um, and then he does a little time here on earth, and then he goes up to the Father. So we're going to be talking about that today. So um, if you go to your Bibles, um, go ahead and push pause if you need to get to the... Um, to the scriptures, but I'm just going to go ahead and keep going. So go to Luke 24, and we're going to read verses 50 through 53, and we're going to be jumping around a little bit. So here is Luke chapter 24, and starting at verse 50. You can read along with me. And he led them out as far as Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Now it came to pass, while he blessed them, that he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him, and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and were continually in the temple, praising and blessing God. Amen. So, then we're going to jump over to Mark, chapter 16, and we're going to go to verses 19 and 20. <clears throat> All right. So then, after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven, and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word through the accompanying signs. Amen. And now we're going to jump over to Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. All right. The former account I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus both began to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up, after he, through the Holy Spirit, had given commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen, to whom he also presented himself alive after his suffering by many infallible proofs, being seen by them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. All right. So, um, parents, on page four of the curriculum that we should have at the bottom of this. Um, page four has the questions to go over with your kids about the scripture we just read. And I just want to um, point out as well um, the Great Commission the, um, that the Lord gave us before he ascended. And you'll find that in um, Mark chapter 16 verses 14 through 18. I'll read those and then also Matthew. Um, later he appeared to the eleven as they sat at the table and he rebuked their unbelief and hardness of heart because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will be, by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. And another account of the Great Commission we find over in Matthew, chapter 28, starting at verse 16. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all the things I have commanded you. And, lo, I am with you always, even to the ends of the age. Amen. All right, I got a... Um, Extra credit question for you guys. If you are willing to accept the challenge, um, just leave your answer in the comments below and you will get a little surprise. All right, so just from the verses that I read from the Great Commission from Matthew 28, 16, chapter 28, verses 16 through 20, what three things did Jesus tell the disciples and us to go do? It's extra credit extra credit uh, questions, leave them in the comments. I'm excited to see what you come up with. God bless you guys. I miss you.